What's happening, PN Nation? Peter Von Band out here in my garage, and I just picked up this chair. Now, this isn't a super high-tech chair or anything like that, but it does have some unique advantages, which is what I wanted in my office. So, first of all, what you might be able to see here is this box is pretty big, and that is because the chair is pretty big, but it's a chair that's pretty big that gets bigger when I want it, and then smaller when I want it, too. Naomi home and a foldable sleeper convertible chair that is a mouthful and this sleeper convertible chair is really what's key because this thing should be better than a recliner it should be a place where you can actually slumber and sleep and rejuvenate yourself all right so the first thing I have to do here is get this box open get the parts into my office here I will probably transfer everything from here piece by piece into my office and then assemble it there all right, the good news is a few of these pieces, well, they're kind of big, you know, are pretty light. There are a couple here that I think are a bit bigger, so probably easier if it's a two-man job, but you know what? I just got one real man here, so that's all I need. All right, I got everything moved in here, and this could be famous last words, but I think this is going to be pretty easy. I have the instruction pamphlet here, just one pager, and I don't even know that I'm going to need it because I think everything... It's pretty obvious. So there's really only four pieces aside from this pillow here. And it looks to me like you have these little brackets on the side, which wedge into the side panels here. And you have these legs, which will screw onto the bottom of the side panels. And then this will just kind of slide underneath like a drawer. So I think that's what this is probably going to tell me. I'm going to follow the instructions, but right there, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Those things just slide into each other. I don't even think there's any fasteners or screws or allen keys or anything like that so let's just get to it all right so as suspected here we are just going to screw in the legs here to both of these side pieces so we'll get all four of these in first all right i've got the main body of this laying down here and i have it fully reclined because i want to make sure it doesn't interfere with the wall now <laughs> the one thing i did want from the instructions is uh, to figure out which side goes on which. And I can't figure that out. I don't see a number here. But what I think the indicator is, is that we have this little stop right here, like kind of a wood piece. You can see it. It's a little L-shaped sewn underneath the fabric here. And what I think that's going to be is a stop for this piece here when it slides back. So this front piece here will butt up against that, and that's going to be the stop for it. So you're going to want this piece facing out. So in this case, because that's the back and it's facing me, this will be on my left, on its right, and I think that will be on the other side. And then what we do is we just kind of drop that cushion in there. As you can see, they're V-shaped, so they won't slide out. You know, you just have to line them up. Probably a little easier with two people, but if you're one talented person, then it'll be really easy. So for me, this will take me uh, about an hour to do. Man, I do love this toolless assembly. Once you get the pieces in there, I think you're going to want to just put a little weight on this, kind of wedge it down. Now we are going to take this piece and this upholstered front flat panel is going to be the front here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this end and shove it in there like a drawer and kind of push it all the way to the back. All right, so I've got this in. This actually just kind of rides on the floor here. What I do want to show you is that there seems to be a pretty big gap right here between the top cushion and this lower piece, and I was like, oh, maybe I don't have this pushed down far enough. But what I think is you actually want that gap because you're going to have to get your hand in here. I will show you that in a little while here, but don't worry too much about that. It's kind of just an aesthetic thing, but I don't think it means anything. And then if we go up here, what you can see is now we can take this piece and we'll ratchet up vertical like this. Just put your pillow right there, and now this chair is ready to sit in, but you can also sleep in it. So let me show you, this piece comes out just like this. You pull it out all the way. And now what you will do is you'll take this strap right here, pull this up, kind of cantilevers forward here. Not the easiest thing one-handed, but a little easier with two-handed. But then you push this down, and now this is pretty flat right here. And so what you can see is we actually have a recliner, but then this ratchets forward here. This can go all the way down. And now you have a full-length bed, so you can get a little shut-eye on it. It's pretty big. I'll give you some dimensions here, but I would say that you and a little one could sit up here. So it's pretty wide. You know, it's actually kind of nice to lounge on. I was sitting on it. I would say that it's really nice to have this back pillow here because 
the cushioning here is pretty firm. It's soft, but it doesn't travel that deep. But for people who like firm beds, you know, maybe you have a bad bag, maybe just like having that support, it actually feels pretty nice. And what I really love about this is that it could work as an auxiliary bed. So you have visitors, you know, guests over, and especially maybe adults, and they have kids, and you could dress this up a little bit with some bed sheets, and the kids could sleep on it. I think it would be a lot better than an air mattress. And then, of course, if you don't need this piece right here, you can just lift it up, cantilever it back down into the little drawer here, push this away, and now it just goes back to a recliner. So pretty good little chair that's also good for sleeping in, and it's really easy to assemble, and it's pretty affordable. It comes in a variety of colors. I like this cream color. It's kind of friendly looking, but at about 300 bucks, I think it's a really good option that can give you a place to sit, enjoy, like I said, a nice wide space right here you know, read your book, watch your favorite movie, and then also have a place that you could put someone to sleep if they really needed to. So if you want to pick this up, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.